don't buy that lie that people are selling out there that pharmacists are not moving out of Nigeria because I have a book here that I'm looking at. I went online and I saw that so many universities that are offering us part course in the United Kingdom are oversaturated now. Like they have too many demands. People are just trooping in Nigerians, non Nigerians, to do a SPAP course. And that's why before you go to GPHC to apply for evaluation, you should first go and search for school that has availability, that has slots to take you in. Take a bullet for you. It's easy, I don't let go, but I won't. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing how much in Naira, how much you need to move from Nigeria to UK as a pharmacist to be able to go out and practice there. Like I made in my last video, I told you the step-by-step -step process that you need to undergo in order to become a licensed pharmacist in the UK so that you can get a job there and start practicing as a pharmacist, a clinical pharmacist. But in this video, I'm going to tell you how much in total you will need to move from Nigeria to the United Kingdom and start practicing. The first thing that I mentioned that you will do is to register with GPH. That's the General Pharmacist Council over there. You need to first get your B farm or your farm B as the case maybe. You need to get it evaluated. And that does not come at zero naira. It comes at a cost. And the price is six. 187 pounds that's how much you need to pay to get gph in order, in order to get your certificate evaluated after that you know i mentioned in that video that you need to write your english proficiency test which is your ielts academics that is for a cost it's not free and it depends on the exchange rate i think it's around ninety thousand now maybe eighty seven to ninety thousand in naira because you're going to be writing that exam here so you pay in Naira, so you pay like 87 to 90,000 Naira to write your eye health. Let's be doing the mathematics together. 687 pounds for GPHC evaluation, 87 to 90,000 Naira for your eye health. After which you now go on to apply to the school of your choice out of the five universities that I mentioned in my last video. Aston University seems to offer the cheapest uh, school fees for OSPAP course and that's like 11,700 11, pounds for PG Diploma OSPAP. I'm going to display the other school um, school fees on your screen to see so that you can make an informed decision as to what school you're going to be attending although there are other factors for you to consider. So 11,700. Now, if you don't have a passport, a green passport, you need to also go get your passport. And that's also for a particular amount. And the amount is not really fixed because if you go online, you have it cheapest. If you can go through the order of applying for your passport by yourself, it's a good one if you don't mind waiting. But if you do mind waiting, then that means you need to pay higher. So you can pay, if you're renewing or it's a fresh one, you can pay as much as 40,000 naira to get your green passport. So I'm just talking on the average now. It varies from state to state. Some states will not pay up to that. While some will pay even more than that 40,000. So let's just say 40,000 naira for your passport. Not passport photographer. I mean for your green, for your green passport. Now, if you have your passport, you have your GPHC evaluation, you have written your IELTS, you have applied to the school, you have made your school fees payments, you have generated your CAS, that's your CAS, the approval funds, that's POF. So as you're going, you know you're going as a student, so you'll be on tier 4 visa. You need a proof of funds. If you're going to be schooling outside London, it's cheaper than if you want to school inside London. Um, I said London. <laughs> okay. Kingston University is inside London. So, it's more expensive than other universities. And if you're going there, you will need to present more proof of funds. Funds is just like you're going to show them that you have a particular amount of money to cater for your needs for the next nine months. If you are going to be in the UK for one year or more, you need to present that, oh, I can take care of myself for the first nine months of my stay in the UK. So I have the money, I have the resources to take care of myself, to rent a house, you know, to eat and all that. So you need to present 12 
12,006 pounds as proof of funds if you're going to be staying um, if you're going to be staying inside London or if you're going to be schooling outside London it's way cheaper so you're going to be needing 9,207 pounds as a student who is going to school outside London who is going for a SPAP course outside London you need 9,207 9, that's 9,207 9, pounds you need to present your proof of funds it has to be in your account 28 days minimum before you go for your visa application so that means that it can be more it can be more than 28 days if you have it like two months or three months before your visa application that's fine but it shouldn't be less than 28 days if you want your visa to be approved Otherwise, you may get a rejection. The next thing is that when you go for your visa application, you need to pay a uh, visa application fee as well as your health insurance surcharge, healthcare surcharge, that's IHA. For your visa application, you're going to be paying £363 for your visa application. So also, if you have dependents, if you want to, because it's tier 4 visa, for you to go and do your OSPAP in... In the UK, you'll be, you'll be going as a student, uh, as a postgraduate student, so that will be tier 4 visa. So you will need to pay for, if you're going to, with your dependents, then you need to pay for their own visa applications too. So for each of you, you have to pay £363, add it to what we already have on ground. Now you need to pay your health surcharge, healthcare surcharge for each person that is going with you. And with you inclusive, you have to pay for yourself and you have to pay for everybody that is going with you. Now you pay £470 for your healthcare surcharge per head. Going alone, you pay £470 for health surcharge. If you're going with two children and your husband, that means you multiply that by four. 470 times four. And the healthcare surcharge is per year. So if you're going just for one year, all these expenses, including the visa, is just because you are going for one year you're going to school you're going for a one year program if you're going for a one year program that's when your visa application is 363 pounds and that is when your healthcare surcharge is 470 pounds it's per year so if you're going to stay let's assume you are not going for a SPAP you're going for another degree or another uh, master's program that's for two years that means you have to pay double initially it used to take like 15 days thereabouts for your visa application to be processed and for you to know the decision about your visa application until the ukraine saga the ukraine um russia saga and they had to give them preference and it was taking longer it was taking longer i have friends that it took so in fact they had to extend by 12 weeks we think well, she's already in the uk now but then it started taking longer than usual but i think i read recently that now it should be taking uh 15 days again so they've resumed back to the 15 days so if you're going to if you are if you are done paying all those money you just go and chill at home for the next 15 days to hear their decision and after 15 days if you have your visa stamped approved that means that you're going to resume to school and then you should be thinking of getting money for ticket your flight to the united kingdom the cost of ticket depends on so many factors from the season you want to travel to um the airline you want to use you know to your destination and lots more of other things so i can't really say this is the amount for your ticket except i am privy to certain information about your journey so if you're going all i know is that there is economic class <laughs> and the business class so if you're going i'm very certain that the economy is cheaper is way cheaper than the business class and then if you're going to be having stopovers it will be cheaper than if you're going straight no stopover at all it will be cheaper to have to go with flights that will have stopovers and then if you're going during the rush hour during the resumption period like september when people are resuming to school you know you have so many people trying to travel at the same time and the demands for flights is very high then the cost will be very high so in january if you're traveling by january of course it will be very high so you can then it also depends on when you book your ticket you know you can book your ticket earlier than when you want to travel and that will make it cheaper 
or like when you're traveling like next week and you're just booking like few days before your your departure that will be like express services and it will be way more expensive so if you try to sum up all the digital I've given you now six um, 87, 363, 11,700 pounds, 9,207 pounds, 363 pounds, 470 pounds. So let's assume that you're going alone. You don't have any dependents and you're going for OSPAP degree, OSPAP course. You're going for OSPAP program. Then if you sum everything up, you'll be needing a total of 22 pounds. 427 22,427 for pounds so using the current rate i think pounds is say 200 around the average because you can't actually walk into the bank to say you want to exchange your naira to pounds now they've made it so difficult so you can simply go you can only go to the black markets to the abokis the bureau de change to change your money and i think the best deal you can get for now if I'm not mistaken, on the average, it's 800 naira per pound. So if you are about, if you are going to be changing 22,427 pounds to naira, that means you'll be having like 17 million nine hundred and forty-one thousand six hundred naira. So you know that we did not include the money for ticket because it couldn't be included due to a lot of other factors that we have to consider. So excluding your ticket fee, excluding miscellaneous, excluding some other things, transportation, excluding um, logistics, let me just put it that way, excluding the money for data, excluding calls, excluding some other things, you will need nothing less than 17 million nine hundred and forty one thousand six hundred naira to be able to migrate to the UK to do your OSPAP degree as a pharmacist, a Nigerian pharmacist. So, some schools, you know, because I said um, Aston University happens to offer the cheapest, like it seems like their PGD is the cheapest and is £11,700. You can just simply go to their website to check for their payments plan. The payment plan can actually be flexible, so you may not necessarily have to pay all £11,700 at once while you're still here. So you might need to just pay a certain percentage of that money to be able to generate your cash. That's your CAS. Exactly. That's all I have for you in this video. If you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please don't go away without smashing that subscribe button on your screen. And remember to turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified when next I drop informative videos like this one. Thank you for watching. I told you I'm not here to mess around. And you've been acting